Hi, I'm Greg Corson, and this is a demo of MetaHuman Animator together with Live Link Face, the old version, so you can see what the difference is between the two. So like Amanda just said, this is a demo of MetaHuman Animator side by side with the original Live Link Face. I recorded this simultaneously with two iPhones, so you'd get an exact in-sync comparison of Live Link Face and MetaHuman Animator. As far as I know, this is the first demo where both methods are used to capture the same performance, so you can compare them. Also, you probably noticed that wasn't my voice coming out of Amanda's head. That's courtesy of a new voice changer that I found, which I'll talk a little bit more about later. I think you'll notice that subtle motions like this. I stopped this here to point out some differences. Notice the MetaHuman Animator version on the left is a more realistic version of my face. The eyebrows, eyes, and mouth are in the correct position, whereas for Live Link Face on the right, the mouth is slightly open, the eyes are not quite the same, and the forehead is much more wrinkled. Translate better on Eta Human Animator than they do on the old Live Link Face. Here's another spot where you can clearly see the difference. You'll notice on the left, the mouth is slightly crooked. You might think that's a defect, but if you look at my face, you'll see it's crooked there too. Whereas Live Link Face has got the mouth straight. That's another thing that MetaHuman Animator does better. It gets things exactly correct and it registers the teeth of the character much better. And just generally looking around and emoting and being angry and that sort of thing, uh, they all look a little bit different and more detailed. That's all. By the way, at the very end of this, I'm going to play the entire performance over again with no interruptions, so you can step through it, slow motion it, or do whatever you want to do to examine it. Now on to the voice changer. This uses a method called RVC, or Retrieval Voice Coding. The biggest advantage of this method is that while it changes the tone of the voice, it doesn't actually change the timing at all. This means if you run it over a segment you've already recorded, the voice will stay in sync. The main disadvantage of this is ethics. To get a voice, you have to train it on someone's actual voice. In this demo, I purposely based Amanda's voice on a fairly well-known actress, but I doubt any of you out there will be able to identify her for one specific reason. While this gets the tone of voice, it doesn't capture the way a person speaks, their accent, their timing, and so on. If you just speak in your normal voice, like I did, you'll see that Amanda speaks like I do. I also tested this with Darth Vader and Arnold Schwarzenegger's voice and found that if I speak normally, I don't sound anything like them even with the voice changer applied. You have to do quite a bit of voice acting to come up with anything that sounds like the original actor. If you want to be completely ethical about using voice changers, you could always just train them on some people that you know who are willing to let you use their voice. Also, there are some services that will sell you voice models that are properly licensed. One other alternative is that you can train on several different voices simultaneously and come up with something that sounds completely unique from any of the others. Keep in mind this is not a text-to-speech system. It only changes your voice. So if you make mistakes or you just don't speak well, that's going to come through just in a different person's tone of voice. I put links to the RVC voice changer I'm using in my video's description. Just download the release and install according to the instructions. If you'd like a full tutorial on it, please let me know in the comments. Personally, I like the new MetaHuman Animator best. The only time I'm going to be using the old Live Link face is when I need something that runs in real time. MetaHuman Animator takes a little time to process and prepare the animations. Not long, but it's not real time. So the older Live Link face is still the way to go if you're trying to do VTubing or something else that's live streamed. Now I'll play the whole performance over again so you can watch it and look at it without any interruptions. Let me know what you think. Also, if you think you recognize who I used for Amanda's voice, Put your guess in the comments and I'll let you know if you're right.
Hi, I'm Greg Corson, and this is a demo of MetaHuman Animator together with Live Link Face, the old version, so you can see what the difference is between the two. I think you'll notice that subtle motions like this translate better on Eta Human Animator than they do on the old Live Link Face. And just generally looking around and emoting and being angry and that sort of thing. Ah, they all look a little bit different and more detailed. That's all.